So another episode of our Friday live transmission. We did have six cases this week. So let's start with our first case, which was a case of intra-abdominal umbilical vein varics, which we really will notice the, uh, the rotation of the umbilical vein. The maximum diameter was more than nine millimeters. So this is a case of uh, intra-abdominal umbilical vein varics, my friend. Uh, we didn't have much comments to uh, see. Yes, two comments which were uh, which were uh, correct. So let's go to the second case, which we have here: case of placental mesenchymal dysplasia versus partial vesicular mole versus uh, like degeneration and placental chorioangioma. We did have a wonderful answer by our friend Kushkun, which was. Either partial mole where we have enlarged placenta with scattered cystic areas with lower absent vascularity in Doppler, like we have seen, with uh, elevated beta HCG in this case, and there was gross restriction in this fetus. Uh, I will rule out placental mesenchymal dysplasia uh, because the beta HCG was not normal, and I will rule out chorioangioma. It's not a chorioangioma, we did have many cases of chorioangioma. Uh, which does not uh, qualify for this case so let's go back to our uh, go uh, to our third case which was a case of right aortic arch my friends uh, where we do have a direction abnormal of the uh, aorta left ductus and right aortic arch we do we did have all uh, 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 yes 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 vascular ring uh, prof nicolas said right aortic arch bravo yes yes all were uh, very good comments my friends we did uh, reach to our fourth case for this week we did have wonderful answers by our friend uh, uh, dr mahmoud musa uh, extra cerebral hemorrhage hematoma uh, pushing the brain yes this was the answer extra cerebral hemorrhage yes 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 this was the uh, answer for this case, extra cerebral hemorrhage. The mother did give us an account of uh, hemorrhage, of sorry, trauma, and this was a case of extra cerebral hemorrhage. This case was a case of female, and I don't know why my friends missed the uh, first few seconds of the clip. Clearly, she is a female with an ovarian hemorrhagic cyst. I did identify the bladder with iliacs around it, and the ovarian hemorrhagic cyst is apparent. So we did have a large comment by our friend Dr. Najma uh, Ijaz, which we will put in our uh, uh, case of the week for this. Uh, yes, because this case is a case of ovarian hemorrhagic cyst. But she did uh, put our insight. You can see the uh, answer here on LinkedIn. Uh, that if a, a, he is a male, the testes could be uh, 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 cited here. Okay, but I am sure ta sure that this was a female fetus. But I would like to thank you, and I will use your wonderful comment as our ultra post for this week. So let's go to our sex case for this week, which was the crown of the jewel. The uh, yes, the jewel, <laughs> the jewel of the crown, the top gem for this week, which was a case of. Dorf double outlet right ventricle, we can see the number of vessels, which are only two vessels with an uh, apparent persistent left superior vena cava adjacent to it, with also uh, an unbalanced AVSD versus a hypoblastic left heart syndrome, but I will go with unbalanced AVSD, with or surely heterotaxy, the bo both atria are, are looking alike. And you can see also a right aortic arch with persistent left superior vena cava. I did answer for my friends, heterotaxy, unbalanced AVSD with dominance of the right side, LV hypoblasia, dwarf uh, pulmonary atresia, total anomalous pulmonary venous return with uh, right aortic arch. And you can say also persistent left superior vena cava. Hope you like this week's case. See you next week.